All right, we're going to uh, have our, a live cross now to some folk that we, uh, oh, we've grown to love. Look at those two there. Hello there. How are you guys? Good. Very well. How are you? You, you can move time? your heads closer together just so that we see your magnificence. <laughs> you know, so tell us, you know, who, what's going on with COVID-19 and, and, and your lifestyles and what you do, what, what's happening and, and where, what suburb are you in? To be exact we're in uh, preston yep so uh 3072 that's yep. right okay well, we're having a, a good time we've uh, uh been able to both sort of transition to working from home yeah and uh this is sort of where we are now is our home office okay so we work side by side with about oh. two inches that's a beautiful and, uh, thing our <laughs> that's right our marriage has sort of become an office romance now you okay know? She takes all the tall. Uh... So you share coffee <laughs> cups, do you? Or, or do you have your own? I drink coffee, Pastor Simon. Oh, don't you? <laughs> no. Good girl. No. Well, what's, what do you drink, you know, to keep yourself alive in these long days? Oh, nothing too stimulating for me. You know, okay, you, you get a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, we're, in a moment we're going to put a few pictures up. But first of all, Kristen, if you'd like to share your story your testimony about um you know you've been in the church probably all your life would that be right More almost almost tell us your story okay um yeah i I'd, I'd like to tell my story i love that you started with the threat of photos coming up later <laughs> but um yeah look i as a child i used to go to church with my mum and originally i went to the Greek Orthodox Church with my mum and then she started going to a different church, uh, which was this church here, Revival Centres. And I really enjoyed going to church with my mum and I noticed a difference between the two churches that we'd gone to. I think originally I, I did have a, a childlike belief in God, but I, I kind of felt that he was far away. And then um, when we started going to this church, I, you know, I sort of heard all these uh, stories of, you know, people, both adults and, and younger people and, you know, all different types of people who said, well, God doesn't have to be far away that, um, you know, he, he wanted to have this close and personal relationship with all of, you know, his creation and he offered his you know holy spirit to come and live within you and i thought that was just great like what an amazing thing and i used to pray at night talk to god before i went to sleep and and one day when i was doing that i started to speak in a weird language that i wasn't making up and i just i felt really excited and and really peaceful and you know i i knew that that was that was the sign that god's spirit had come to live within me and I spoke to my mum about it and I said, I wanted to get baptised and, and I did. And my life has been really great. So I just, I feel so lucky and so blessed that I was able to have um, God in my life from a younger age because I had, you know, all of this comfort and all of this peace and, you know, and God's power available to me for you know throughout most of my life so one of the things that i noticed after receiving the holy spirit as we talk about was that um you know as a, a younger person i was quite anxious and uh, i used to get really worried about things particularly things that i didn't think were fair and that often i had no control over and when i received the spirit i, I just used to pray um you know in this language and I would get this comfort and I would get this peace and I would know that everything would be okay and it, and it always would be. And that has never left me. And I think that's another amazing thing that, you know, God gives you his spirit and it doesn't leave you. And I've had lots of experiences in my life, like miracles where God has intervened in, you know, issues with it, like my physical health or my mental health or, you know, social situations or financial situations and there's just no aspect of my life that God isn't involved in because you know he just makes everything better and I just love that we have 
his word in the Bible to look to and we also have his, you know, his spirit and his nature in us that we can be guided by too. So it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, you, you get this amazing access to God. And um, one thing that just comes to mind, I mean, uh, when I was younger, when I was about to turn 21, I got into a really bad car accident and I fell asleep at the wheel and uh, I, it was a very bad accident and really I should have died, but I didn't. And, you know, I felt like I was very blessed by, you know, coming through that okay. But then when I was in the hospital, you know, I'd broken a lot of bones and it looked pretty dire and the, the doctors all said, look, you know, it's going to be a long, long road to recovery and you know we've we've got all these plans to help get you better they wanted to you know why are my insides and do all this sort of stuff and i was just about to turn 21 and i already had to cancel my party because you know i'd just been in a car accident and so i said look you know i you know i'm going to pray about this and i really want to get out of the hospital by before my 21st birthday which was in three days and they said there's no chance and i did pray about it and i really believed and you know it just turned out they they were like oh actually your body is healing amazingly well and we're happy to send you home and I was out of there within the three days and I've clearly well sort of made a full recovery you know my body's all fine and and everything's good from that but I just I've had so many of those kind of experiences in my life where God's really intervened in an amazing way and if you ask him for something you know he's he he doesn't withhold anything from you and and the fact that he wants the best for us and you know the scripture that says that um you know all things work together for good for those of us who love god and are called according to his purpose i really feel rings true for me and and in my life and i'm just i feel really grateful and really thankful that you know whether it's a, a broken bone or a broken heart or you know whatever it is that god can make a big difference so that's my story that's wonderful I, I just had forgotten, you know, it's terrible really that about that car accident, that was full on. And I remember everyone yeah. at church having prayer and, you know, it was really big, you know, that uh, look at you now. I am actually think we've just witnessed a miracle there because Sam didn't interrupt at all when you were speaking. <laughs> that's, that's something that we haven't seen that often, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> Usually interrupting him. So. Oh, yeah, you know. We'll anyway, look, uh, we've, got a, we've got a... Go on, you say it. We'll see if she can do the same when it's my turn. Yeah, yeah that's that's an interesting one. All right, we're going to put a, some pictures up. Nothing, nothing too challenging. And I, the reason I included this is that um, Pastor Dave, obviously there on the left, um, you know, there's uh, Justin, just, Justine, sorry, and Hannah and your good self. But he actually made the comment just before he spoke last Sunday that he had no idea about the family connections that we have in the revival centres, you know, that... Uh, whoever it was that was on last week had no idea that, you know, who who they're married to and who their brothers and sisters are. And so I'm <laughs> not sure everybody knows who you are, Sam, that you are the son of a pastor and you are perfectly <laughs> qualified to take on that role. That's right. Here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's, there's not many people watching this, so there's just, just us. What was going oh, no. on there? I know it's a beautiful day, but you, you've always had clothes issues. Quite often you turn up on Sunday wearing a singlet and thongs and, you know, look at someone else's pants sort of thing. Well, what's going on with your hair there, Sam? You seem to have recovered from that mode. That was, that was about two days after we had gotten married and I was obviously having some sort of uh, crisis and decided <laughs> to bleach my hair. Yeah. <laughs> So you'd only, was your hair like that for the wedding or? Oh, no. No. Just oh, no. Enough, just... <laughs> okay. That, fair enough. All right. We'll have a look at the next one. Oh, no. That's, that's a concern. <laughs> that's a concern. Uh, fitness freaks. How's, 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 the, how's the general well-being and fitness uh, regime going at the moment in COVID-19? Well, that, that picture is a good image of, of what it looks like in an isolation. <laughs> yeah. Just... Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up, but my concern is you're actually standing in the ladies' toilets. But anyway, next. <laughs> Seems to be a little bit of a thing happening with hair, with the two of you. And that's, uh, 
And I don't want to comment on the top that you're wearing, Sam, because it, it will be taken off the air. But anyway, interesting. <laughs> All right, there's Candy. <laughs> yeah, look at that, Tanya. What's, what was that? Was that a um, one of our nights at the church? That was that was just a good Saturday night. Okay, just a good <laughs> Saturday night. Yeah. Well, anyway, nice. next one. Oh, there's more. <laughs> okay, now this one. You know, this is Michaela, of course, and uh, your good self, Kristen. I just don't understand how you got Sam to fit in the basket. <laughs> You know, it's either Sam or Ian Pask. I'm not sure, but uh, anyway. All right, I think that's our last one. All right, now look, so you, well, you feel okay? Comments. You got through that all right? Well, we actually did some digging of our own. And yeah. uh, we came up something. If you want to have a look at this. Yes. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but that's you. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Yeah, that's you as a, as a youngster. Isn't My it? goodness. I don't think I've now, ever seen that it? before. That was in one of the Voice of Revivals that we've uh Is that right? There. Okay. Yeah. What what uh, do you remember that? Were you a cowboy or I I hope so. I hope so. But uh no, I've never seen that picture before, so there you go. So that's payback, well, is it? I think you win. <laughs> I do. I the think you win. says, my girdle is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Anyway, well done. Oh, no, that's no, a three-pointer. No, no, no. All right, Sam, if you'd like to share yes. your story now, we'll, we'll give the, the whole screen. That's the only screen. one we have, so you can rest uh, easy. That's why we're moving on, just in case. <laughs>